All right, we're gonna start off on your Steam Deck. Go to the Steam menu and settings and go to internet. Now we have two different internet connections here. One is a wired connection because I'm on my Steam Deck dock. The other one is my Wi-Fi connection. Now you're gonna to wanna to make note of both of these if you happen to have both or just your Wi-Fi if that's all that you have. If we click into each one, we're gonna see something called a MAC address. This is a unique identifier for your network connected device. In this case, it's my wired or ethernet connection. So make a note of the last four digits. You're probably not gonna need anything more than that. So C5, F7, and you might take a look at the IP address that you currently have assigned. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So MAC address 6031, and the IP assignment, the IP address is 0.106. Okay, so we'll make note of both of those. Now we're ready to go over to uh, our browser and I'm gonna use it on Windows just because it's easier for me to do. And uh, we're going to, and we're gonna go ahead and log into our router. Now, this is the part where this could be completely different for you than it is for me, than it is for your neighbor, than it is for his neighbor, than it is for your cousin, because you might not have the exact same router that I do, TP-Link AXE 5400. You may not have this one. You may have one that's issued by your ISP. You may have a router modem combination. This is why a, a lot of these types of tutorials um, aren't out there because it's, specific to your particular piece of hardware. But I'm gonna to try to do this as generically as possible, show you the concept, so hopefully inside of your router, you'll be able to figure it out. Now, usually you access your router by going to 192.168.0.1 or .1.1. Typically speaking, that'll get you to most routers out there. You could also look on your router itself, it'll probably tell you the address to get there. Now I'm gonna log in here with my local password. And that's going to put me inside the main menu. Now, this can get really overwhelming. And again, I 100% will tell you with peace and love, peace and love, yours is probably gonna look different than mine. Uh, but again, we're gonna talk concepts, so hopefully you can apply them. What we are looking for as we go through the menu options is something called DHCP server. Now, it just so happens that mine's on top, but if you sit here and click through every single one of these, it's really easy to get lost. But what you're looking for is DHCP server. Okay, now you're gonna wanna make sure that it's turned on, believe it or not, um, it could be off, I don't know why. And this is gonna show you your pool of addresses that you can assign to anything in your home. So this starts at dot two, because obviously it's dot one for the router, and this goes up to 253. Your lease time, which is how many minutes before it's possible that your device will get issued a different IP address and your default gateway, blah, blah, blah. So what we have here is address reservation. Now it's gonna be called possibly something else. What you're looking to be able to do is reserve an IP address for a specific device. Now in this case, I have my NAS and I have two server boxes that I have assigned specific IP addresses to. And here's our MAC addresses. So with that information, when this box turns on and its MAC address calls up my router and says, hey, I need an IP address so I can go out to the internet, it will always give it this address every single time without fail. And it won't accidentally give this address to some other device like your wife's cell phone or something like that. Uh, and it's pretty easy to add these. As you can see, there's an add up here. Um, and the ad process, depending on how old your router is, what sort of UI it uses, it could be more difficult than what I'm gonna show you here. In this case, it's pretty damn easy. So we're gonna hit add, and it's gonna ask you to type in your MAC address. Well, okay, if you don't have a view connected devices button, you may have to do that. So in this case, I can hit view my connected devices, and somewhere in here, amongst all of the rabble is going to be my Steam Deck and you'll see there are two of them. Remember 6031 and C557? Each one of these is getting assigned a different IP address. Now, this could prove troublesome, right? Because these are two different addresses. So if you're trying to access uh, one of these while it's on the dock, 
you're not gonna be able to get to that same address while it's off the dock, if that makes sense. So even though it's the same Steam Deck, it's two different addresses and two different IP addresses that are gonna be assigned to it, two different Macs, right? So we can choose which one we want. We're gonna start with this Steam Deck, the one on top, right? So this is C031, which I believe was my wireless connection. I'll hit save, right? And then save. Now you see Steam Deck is always going to be assigned that value. Now that's my Mac address for my ethernet connection. Now I need something for my Wi-Fi connection. So we'll add that. View connected devices. There's the Steam Deck again. This time we need to add this guy, C557, save and save. There you go. Now, from now until the end of time, or until I get a new router, or I change this, or I delete these, these are going to be the addresses of my Steam Deck. One for Wi-Fi and one for Ethernet. So, now that I have these, I can guarantee that if I'm using SSH, SH, or SFTP, or SSH, these values are never going to change. Now you might need these to set up services. You may not be able to use the host name of Steam Deck when you connect from your PC to your Steam Deck. Um, but this will ensure that the IP address is always going to be the same. It's something you can count on now, which is what we're looking to do in this tutorial. Make sure that this address is always gonna get assigned that way. That way, if you're on your PC and you try to ping your Steam Deck, Right? You're not getting an IP address back from that. But you could ping the IP address. And that is definitely coming back from your Steam Deck. So there's a multitude of reasons why you might want to do this, but if you're in my Discord and we tell you to assign a static IP, now you can do that. You know how to do that. You understand the principles, even if your interface is just a bit different. Listen, I hope this helped you out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.